because not the whole time. Well, not the whole time, but yeah, it just happens. So. tour like the week before that like a Canadian tour and a, and a Midwestern tour and we would just be driving around the city and spontaneously like if we'd pull over for whatever reason we would just kind of fuck with people I'd ask like directions to like really vague places you know like really ambiguous questions like do you know where the monument is you know we'd be in a, in a city like what, every words, city has a monument arches. we'd get interesting answers from people like oh you know the monument like what monument well, I don't know of any monument or just like they'd say weird things and we, we target people who look strange or whatever. You know, everything went down in New York and it was a completely crazy state of mind that we were, you know, in at the time and we were in Canada and French speaking, you know, Quebec and it was just really strange of a perspective. We drove all night from Toronto to go to Detroit and like it was just a long drive. We had to wait at the border for hours and hours in a long line and they, they searched our van and you know interrogated us as they normally do but it was 
tighter security because of all the terrorist attacks. So we get to Detroit and it's like one in the afternoon. We're just fucking tweaked. Our minds are just really warped. We haven't slept all night. We've been driving. We, we can't figure out what we want to do. We're just delirious. We drive back and forth. Like we go into this, kind of go into the city. We turn around. We're just kind We're of looking like for a place to indecisively eat. looking for a place to eat. You know, Tony's looking for, he pulls over to look at the map to see where, you know, a college is because he knows of a college around there that may have, you know, better food establishment, establishments to eat at. And right as we pull, pull over for him to look at the map, I lean out the window because there's some people coming and I'm just like, fuck it, you know? And I came up with these initials earlier in the day, like GSA, because I'm thinking what's more like, you know, vague than, than initials. So I came up with something really stupid, Geo Services Administration. Because what the fuck does that mean? I lean out the window and these people are coming and they have like little necklaces with badges. And I don't really no notice what it says, you know, so I just say, excuse me, do you know where the GSA building is? A woman that was you know, in the group of three said, yeah, honey, it's right there, two blocks that way. And so I'm like, that's really weird. Thank you, you know, like, there actually is a GSA building and I came up with the exact initials. We just kind of freaked us out. And so we just, Tony was like, okay, I found this college. So we turn around and go on the same road we've been going on. So traffic starts to build up, so we're like, fuck it. We'll just turn around and go back to the city. Out of nowhere, we get pulled over, federal agents everywhere. You know, they've got, they're packing guns. They've just, you know, I hear helicopters. There's fucking, you know, they're just speaking on the megaphone. Pull over, we pull over. Let me see your hands, our hands are up. You know, they drag Tony out of the fucking van. They put him on the sidewalk. All of a sudden, the question we hear, why do you want to know where the federal building is? So these guys are dressed in blue army fatigues. They have fucking GSA written on their badges. <laughs> They're federal agents. You know, there's news cameras come out. So Tony's like, look, you know, I'm not responsible for what happens in the van. I just drive, you know. <laughs> I just pulled over to look at the map. I don't know about any questions. We're I don't know what you're talking about. GSL we're just building. We're just looking for food, you know. We're and so sunny. The, and he opens this door right here. This fucking door and like this door is broken door. because we have this loft and Tony's like don't open the door and he's like Don't you say anything? We didn't ask you any questions So this door almost falls off and the guy's asking me questions through the, the open door and guys sitting in the front seat where you're sitting And he starts asking guy questions. He's like so did anyone in this van ask anyone any questions where the federal building was? And guys like look man, we drove all night, you know, like we're a band and I'm like yeah, yeah, we're a band so I get our itinerary I show it to him, I'm like, this is, you know, we're a band, we're called the Convocation of. And so he starts calling the venues we're playing to find out if we're a band, if we're legitimate, it all checks out or whatever. The whole time, the news camera's filming us, and the whole time, Tony's just giving it the finger because... Well, not the whole time. Well, not the I whole time, but hey. yeah, he just had, had his finger up there. So... And they were right, kind of like, near me, and I felt like my privacy was invaded, invaded. Rightfully so. One of the agents starts asking Guy, you know, so, so did anyone in this van ask anyone any questions? He's like, no, you know, I, I don't know about any questions. And like, well, are you on anything? Take off your sunglasses. And the guy takes his sunglasses off. He's like, look, man, I'm just tired. I'm not on anything. He's like, why are your fingernails so greasy? He's like, do you work on cars? And he's like, and guy's like, no. He's like, well, your fingernails are really dirty. He's like, look, man, we've been driving all night. Like, this is a dirty van. Like, we're just dirty dudes, man. Like, he comes to me and he's like, so did anyone ask any questions about where the federal building was? And I was like, look, man, I was asleep. I didn't know anything about the federal building. So I basically lied to him. So if I get an FBI agent out here and we take it to the next level, and he says, you asked him where the federal building was, what are you going to say then? And we start to feel the heat. So guy's like, look, man, this is the story. This is what happened. No bullshit. Tells the whole story about the pranks. So you did ask a question about where the federal building was. And I thought you were asleep. And I was like, you know, I thought you were talking about a different street, man. I didn't know you were talking. I tried to play stupid, basically. The guy that was in charge um, is given back the IDs by one of the lower ranking officers. And he says, he's like, sir, they check out. You know, these guys are legit. They're stupid, but legit. I didn't know what GSA was, which is general services, which is, you know, even more general than fucking anything I can come up with. So basically, a miraculous set of circumstances had us jacked up by federal. And then the kids at the show were like, are you guys with a band on the news? <laughs> Like, yeah. Among other terrorists, there was a band pulled over. <laughs> you know, as if we don't have enough with problems. With dirt under now. their fingernails. We're pulled over by federal agents. So that's the story. God.
how I hate the 20th century.